The stars, twinkling over a menagerie of animals, set the stage for one of the most magical words Erica Hahn never expected to hear. Out of nowhere, he says, Mama. And, you know, I, I, I can't even tell you, like, the, the emotion. It seemed impossible. The MRI showed the damage. A stroke in utero destroyed the left side of his brain. Doctors thought he'd never talk or walk. Yet, at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, that precious little boy spoke, climbed, slid down the slide with a smile radiating happiness, and even took his first steps. He just got up and there he came towards me. And I thought to myself, don't start crying, don't start crying, because I didn't want him to think that it was a bad thing that he had just taken those steps. So I'm trying to fight that in. Um, but, you know, again, how many times had he fallen in that exact same place? I mean, I think that is what's so important is he, he chose to do that there. Erica believes Spencer chose to reach those incredible milestones at the world's largest children's museum because it is the place he feels most comfortable. It is where his favorite green dinosaur with fun colors on the belly learns tricks with him and gives him high fives. It is the place he learns about other cultures, science, and history. It is the place he watches his friends perform on stage. And it is the place where a mother's love and those friends transformed his life. Spencer is at the age where his body may not do things the way other kids' bodies do. And what better way to get away from all of that that is completely positive than to get on stage and be a rabbit or be a pirate or, you know, it, all of these flawed characters. And I think that what it's teaching him is that you can be creative, you can have fun, you can have this exciting outlet to kind of, you know, be silly and, and be yourself. 